Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Data Pioneer with the Linux Unix Tech Channel, and I'm out again on my Farron OS Linux system. And today I thought I'd introduce you to a Linux uh, monitoring utility that I discovered recently called BPyTop. And it's a Python version of BashTop. If you haven't seen it, we'll take a look at it, and we'll look at it right after this. <music> Okay, I'm back. Uh, so let's get out on the web and I'll show you a website I found uh, that talks about BPytop a little bit. It's a website called linoxide.com. I'll put a link uh, under the video here to this website so that you can come up and, and take a look at this for yourself. Uh, it says that it's an efficient resource monitor in Linux. It certainly is that. Uh, the website does come down and describe some features available for BPytop and uh, here they are. Uh, we'll get into those features, some of those features anyway, when I uh, get into the terminal later in this video. But you can take a look at that yourself. Now there are some prerequisites for installing BPytop uh, on the Linux system. It does run in Python and does require Python 3 version 3.6 or later. It also requires PSUtil module and you can install it using these directions or you can do what I will do, show you that I did in um, using pip to install uh, bpytop and uh, I think that's the cleanest way to do it. If you're running Ubuntu or some flavor of Ubuntu or, or derivative uh, of Ubuntu uh, 18.04 you will be able to use the instructions as I show you. Um, you can do the manual method here. You can go out on GitHub and, and go to the GitHub project and install it that way by cloning the uh, the project and installing it from source. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you how to do it from uh, using pip. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out on the terminal. And so let me pull up a terminal session and flip back over here and launch the terminal. And so I'm in the terminal now. I've made this a little larger, so hopefully you can see uh, what we're doing here. And I've got some transparency going in the background, so you can see my uh, desktop through the uh, terminal itself. Now there's two packages that I mentioned that you'll need if you want to install uh, this using the method that I'm going to show you. So you'll need Python 3 and you'll also need one called Python 3-pip. Alright, and so uh, you'll need to install that using sudo apt install Python 3, Python 3-pip. Um, I've already got these installed, uh, but if you uh, don't have those installed then you'll need to install those and so this is the command that you'll use to do that now if you're running Ubuntu 18.04 or higher um, you should have Python 3 already installed you may not have Python 3-pip so you do, do need to run this command I'm going to go ahead and run it anyway even though I have it let me go ahead and enter the password uh, let me enter it Okay, and so it goes ahead and runs, and it says that, you know, uh, Python 3 is already installed, the latest or newest version, 3.6.7-1, and that Python 3-pip is already installed, and it's the newest version as well. So I don't need to do anything here. Uh, when you run it, you're going to probably get something a little bit different if you don't have one of or both of these uh, packages already installed. All right, so let's go ahead and clear the screen. And... So let's take a look at the Python 3 version that we do have uh, installed here. So I'm going to run the Python 3 dash dash version command and that's going to tell me the version that I have. And I have Python 3 dash 6 dash uh, 3.6.9 installed. And so for BPytop we need Python 3.6 or higher and so we're good to go here. All right. So you need to make sure you've got 3.6 or higher in order for this to work. Uh, so let's look at where is Python uh, 3 installed. So let's run the which Python 3. And you can see that Python 3 is installed at user bin Python 3. And uh, so let's run the which on pip 3 to see where pip 3 is. And so it's at user bin pip 3 as well. All right, let's clear the screen. 
And so now let's get uh, bpytop installed, and we're going to do do this using the pip method, which is the Python installer package. And uh, and so I'm going to run the command pip three uh, install bpytop, and I'm going to run the upgrade while I'm doing this. So I'm going to do a dash dash upgrade and hit enter. And so it's collecting bpytop. It's using a cached method here already, uh, you know, because I've already installed it. But you're going to get something different when you do yours because it's going to actually do the installation. Mine's already been installed. And so it says it's collecting psutil, you know, that was the other module we needed. And so it's installing the collected packages, psutil and bpytop, because this is a uh, prerequisite here for bpytop. And then it says that it successfully installed bpytop version 1.0.44 and psutil version 5.7.2, which is greater than the version uh, that I showed you on the website that it said it needed. And so we're good to go with everything here now. So let me clear the screen. And let's go ahead and launch bpytop uh, here. But look, first of all, for comparison purposes, let's take a look at some of the other utilities. Uh, let me do that first. Some of the other utilities that you may be more familiar with uh, for monitoring your resources and your processes on the Linux system. One of those, which comes with every installation of uh, Linux out there, is called Top, and here it is. And so Top, you know, gives you the information you really need. Um, you know, like uptime, number of users, load average, number of tasks running sleeping and stopped and zombied and, and that kind of thing. Tells you memory, your swap, uh, tells you your processes that are running and your CPU usage, etc., etc. And so you know, that's a good command to use and uh, you can continue using that obviously. Let's clear the screen. Another one though that uh, you may or may not have to install if uh, you're running Linux, uh, Ubuntu, some version or some other distro of Linux and that's HTOP. I happen to have it already installed. And so here HTOP is a little more graphical than Top was. And so you've got your graphical representation for your number of your CPUs here, the one, two, three, four in my case, uh, quad core. Your memory usage, I'm running 3.63 gigs out of 15.5. I do have 16 gigs installed in this system. Um, here's telling me here the swap that I'm using. It also gives me my task, my load average, my uptime, and also my processes, and gives you a little bit more capability down here with function keys, uh, F1 through F9, or through F10, rather, um, and that kind of thing. So HTOP is also a good one to use. And there's a third one that I previewed in a previous um, video that I did called Glances. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, uh, I'll put a link out to that video here under this video and so glances is an, is run by use running glances glances is another way to look at your system processes your memory uh, it gives you more information obviously than the previous two did because it also gives network information I do have some containers here and so uh, it gives me container information it also gives me uh, the operating system I'm running the IP address for the WAN and for the uh, local and for the WAN. It get, does give me my uptime in days. It does tell me my CPU usage, my memory, my swap, uh, and that kind of stuff. And also my load averages over here. So Glances is a little bit better. It, it's more detailed than either Top or HTOP, and I like that. Um, I prefer uh, using Glances. Uh, but BPyTop has some advantages I want to show you, and so let's go ahead and uh, get into that. So let's clear the screen. Okay, so to launch uh, bpytop uh, after we have uh, Python 3 and Python 3 pip installed, all you need to do is come to the terminal and type in bpytop. All right, you get an intro screen here. It's kind of a retro uh, gaming uh, look. I like that. Uh, it can be annoying. You can turn that off, and uh, I will show you how to do that if you want to do that. But anyway, once you're in, here's what it looks like. And I, I like the look of it. Uh, I like the way that it presents itself on the screen. It's color-coded. Uh, very nice. 
Um, so you got a lot of the same information here in BPytop that you do in uh, HTOP and um, in Glances, not so much in Top. But um, you know, so let's take a look at some of this stuff. You've got CPU, menu, mode. We'll look at mode here in a moment. So, uh, but for right now, it's set for full by default. You've got the time of day. You've got over here 2,000 milliseconds. That's the refresh rate. You can bring that down. You can bump that up so that it refreshes uh, less often or more often. Uh, down here, it does tell me that I'm running a uh, Core i3 processor of seven, seventh generation, which I don't think any of the other, uh, uh, you know, HTOP or TOP especially, or Glances even, gives you that information. It says that it's uh, running a 3.8, 3.5, is fluctuating gigahertz right now processor. It tells me my CPU average percentage usage of 23%. It even tells me my temperature of 34 degrees centigrade. And then it highlights the uh, individual cores of my processor and gives me the individual core percentage usage and temperature, which I really like. It also has a graphical representation of, of that as well. And then it shows the load averages here of, of 1 minute, 5 minutes, 15 minutes. And so those are well within um, what I should be seeing here. So the system is really running well. If you come down here, it shows memory usage. Uh, and I have 15 gigs or 16 gigs of RAM installed. So it shows the breakdown of, of memory usage by user and, and system. Uh, right now, 3.91 gigs by user here. For swap, I've got three gigs of RAM uh, allocated for, I mean, three gigs of swap space, rather, uh, allocated. And so I'm running only 34.2 megs of that three gigs for swap by user right now. Over here to the disks, you can see that it breaks down the uh, disk setup uh, in the system and then shows the swap setup as well here, okay? And then if you come down here, uh, it shows some of the network setup um, for uh, download, upload speed, that kind of thing. Come across here to process, and then you can see that in the processes, um, I've got the tree set up right now. We do have mouse supports. If I click on tree, it goes back to my regular look. And uh, But if I click on tree, I can get the tree look as well. Okay, And so we do have mouse support, which is nice in BPytop. Uh, mouse support that you don't have in some of the other uh, monitoring tools, the utilities for Linux, such as HTOP and, and TOP. Um, okay, so um, one of the things I did allude to here earlier is mode. And so if you come up to here and to the mode, you can click it once and you can get a process mode. So process mode just takes the look that you had previously and basically shows you your processes um, which is it's focusing in on your processes, if you will. And so here's the PIDs, the program associated with it, the argument, uh, location basically of where that program is running, the number of threads associated with those processes, the user assigned that process, the memory in uh, bytes here uh, for those processes, the CPU usage, etc., which I really like, okay? And then another mode, you can click, come back up here and click again, and it shows your statistics. And so it breaks down or focuses in on your memory stats, your, your graph associated with those, your disk stats, and your networking statistics. Uh, also at the top, your um, the things that I showed you earlier. So now if I click this again, I'll go back to full, okay? If I click on the menu, I can get back to the menu here for BPytop. And so we're on the options here. And so um, if I hit the Enter key, uh, it gives me the options, okay, that you can set here in BPytop. And so the first thing is the color theme. And for the default is the default theme that you, you saw earlier. You can either hit the right arrow key on the keyboard or you can left, left mouse click. And so this default black, Nord, uh, whiteout, uh, Kaliox X, uh, Dracula, or Monokai, or Solarized Dark. And so if I uh, choose Solarized Dark, it no you notice here if I hit the Enter key on the keyboard, um, it takes us back out to, uh, or Escape rather, hit the Escape, 
takes us back out to uh, your desktop here with your your NB Pi top. But you're now looking at the solarized view, and you'll notice that the color combinations are a lot different. Your graph uh, color combination is different. Even the mode and, and menu and all is totally different. Menu, by the way, if you hit capital M on the keyboard, um, it'll give you the same thing as using a mouse. So that's different. So it's up to you how you want to look at that. Um, let's uh, let's get back to um, menu again. And if I hit the uh, enter key uh, for options. And so we, we can break, come back. And I want to go back to the one I had, which I believe was default. And so if we come down, theme background, you can turn that on or off by doing true or false using the right arrow key or the mouse, either one. Uh, and um, so if you want to show your, your transparency background, then you'll need to turn the theme background off in order to show the transparency. If you leave it to true, you won't get the transparency. All right, so for your view mode, um, we're looking at one-third full. For your update speed here, you can control it here as well uh, by doing it uh, left, a uh, right arrow or left arrow uh, for the number of uh, milliseconds of refresh rate on for BPI top. Process sorting, you can do CPU lazy uh, or you can do something else, CPU responsive, uh, PID, uh, program, arguments, etc. Threads, user, memory, CPU lazy is what it was on. Uh, process reversed, you can do false or true. Okay, let's come on down. Some of the other things, uh, tree depth, you can change that to a greater depth on the tree when you do show tree view, all right, which I showed you earlier. Process colors, uh, you can turn those on or off. Gradient on or off, core on or off, memory bytes on or off. I won't go through all of these, uh, but you can you can see what you've got here, all right? And um, so let's go on to the rest of this. I don't have a battery, so I don't need that. Update, check, true or false, and then log warning levels. You can do warning info, debug, error, error. All right. So let's hit the escape key and get out of this. You do have a, a help menu, and so if I hit help and hit the enter key on the keyboard, um, you can go through the uh, help commands here and... Uh, and it'll show you things like showing the options and shows this window, uh, your mouse support. If you hit enter on the keyboard, what it does there, spacebar expands or collapses, etc. So if I do escape, I'll get out of that. And then let's get back into, um, let's go escape again, get back here to processes. And let's take a look actually at the uh, process look. And so if I come down here, I can come across to a particular process and um, the Brave browser, for instance, is running. And so if I wanted to kill that, I'm not going to do it, but if I wanted to kill it, I can highlight the uh, the Brave browser option and opt Brave. I can come down here and either hit the uh, mouse here under kill or K to, uh, to do that. I have to do select first to get that, to select it, and then come across and then hit kill and that will actually kill the browser just like it does in any other um, either top or H top as well and so you do have the capability here in um, BPI top also so let's get out of that and so um, let's get out of here and quit and so this has been a look at BPI top and it runs in uh, Python 3 on your your desktop and uh, in the terminal and uh, it is an alternative to top or H top uh, or even glances. I like it. You, I think you'll like it as well. If you like this video, you thought it was helpful, go ahead and hit the uh, thumbs up on the video. If you uh, haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Click on the bell and you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So this has been Data Pioneer with the Linux Unix Tech Channel. Have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.